Igret, hello. What do you think? You know I told you I wanted to move to a more expensive flat? Yes. Well, I shan't have to now. The landlord's put the rent up. Oh, isn't that good? What you got there? Another bill? No. It's a letter from Wally. Go on. What did he say? Oh, come on, Gert. Give us a laugh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well. He said, when I do see you again, Gert, I will give you a long, warm, passionate kiss with such fire that it will burn you up. Oh, isn't that lovely? Mm. That's just like my Bert. Is it? Yes. He always kisses me with a lighted cigarette in his mouth. Oh, don't. Is there anything else? (laughs) Yes. He said... There is something dove-like about you. Yeah, blimey, I wouldn't stand for that. Why not? He means you're pigeon chesty. I'm not going to read you no more. Have you heard from Bert? Yeah. Yeah, don't tell us all. I think he's in Italy. What makes you think so? Because he says he is, does he? I think my wallet's out there too because of his last letter. Oh, what are you whispering for? Huh? Oh, I thought he was whispering. No, 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 don't do that. Talk ordinary. Oh. People, I think their gramophones are packing up. Oh, sorry. Well, I really come down to borrow a book to read. Well, help yourself. There's a couple on the dresser. For this one? No, no, not that one. That's the book Bert bought me just before he went away. Oh. Didn't half take him a long while, too. Oh, it didn't take him long to buy a book, surely. This did. <laughs> he told me it was printed in London and bound in Morocco. Oh. No, you don't want that. That's a cookery book. Oh, one of them five shilling ones. No, only 18 pence. Still, it doesn't matter, because I'm only a small eater. Mm. When Bert was called up, he took it with him to his medical. Oh, well. He must have looked funny standing there having his medical with a cookery book under his arm. I don't know. It wasn't there. But he had to take it. Look. It's got a notice on the back page, uniform with this volume. Oh, well, he was right. He got his uniform, didn't he? Yes, yeah, he's still got it. Mm. Poor blighter. Never mind, then. He might be home sooner than you think. Well, you never know your luck. Oh, what a job all those boys are doing for us, ain't mm, rather. Can't say enough about them, can you? Too right to can But you know, there's someone else we ought to mention to. So And they're very quiet about the things they do. They don't get any medals or much fame. But they carry on the good work just the same. So here's to the mums and dads of all the lads who've gone away. The mums and the dads, the boys have left behind them. They're queuing around for hours till they're nearly up the pole. They're keeping the own fires burning, that's if they can get the coal. And they're doing their best to wear a smile and so you'll never know. But they're worrying over what the bill and check. Up they cut their chest with pride They're taking it in the stride And they're keeping the old flag flying Till the boys come back and dinner Go here to the mums and dads All the lads have gone away The mums and the dads, the boys are left behind them Dad goes off on duty when his daily work is done And we all know what mothers are They're heroes, everyone And they're doing their best to wear a smile So you'll never know the worrying over Boston Hill and Jack. But they throw up their chest with pride. They're taking it in their stride. And they're keeping the old flag flying till the boys come back. Here, Daisy, you heard about Paul Mrs. Rogers at number 34? No, what's happened? Somebody's got in and pinched all their wedding presents. Ah, oh, what a living shame. Good job they didn't take anything decent. Mm-hmm. Rotten like, wasn't it? No, sure. Uh, Did you know how to get rid of bad luck, don't you? Of course I do. Put a pen underneath the pillow with something bright and gay. Go to bed and overnight everything will turn out right and you'll have the lucky day. Put a pen underneath the pillow if it rains well, let it rain. In the morning you will see when you have your cup of tea that the sun's come out again. For faith is kind and it will make your dreams come true. Soon you'll find that the one you love loves you. Put a penny underneath your pillow at the closing of the day. Tuck the blankets round your chest, let the penny do the rest, and the luck will come to stay. A little piece of wedding cake, uh-huh. what a difference it can make. Underneath your pillow, one dark night brings dreams about your lover. That's all right, but if you can't stand crumbs in bed, try our way instead. Put a penny underneath your pillow, we'll see something bright and gay. Go to bed and have a night, everything will turn out right, and you'll have a lucky day. Underneath the pillow, at the closing door.
of the day. Pack the blank jump the check, let the penny do the rest, and good luck will come to stay. I like this tune, don't you? No, no. Oh, it's on the wireless the other day, isn't it? Makes me feel old. Well, I know. Exactly. I'd like to make a record of it. Okay. I'm just doctor. Eh? Wait till they change the key, though. Right. That's better. Here it comes. That place is high. It will make your dreams come true. Soon you'll find that the one you love loves you. Tuck the blanket round the chest, let the penny do the rest, and relax, we'll come 